Hey everyone, it's Anthony for Pretty Printed here. In today's video, I wanna talk about three options to the inline form set factory that you may find useful. So these three options are actually more general. They're for form sets in general, but because I created a video on inline form sets yesterday, I figured I might as well cover some options that you may want to use with inline form sets. And I'll just call this a part two of the inline form set series. So just a reminder what I did yesterday, I created a very simple example of a form set. Um, here I have four things already filled in and I have three extra fields. So the three options that I'm going to cover are dealing with this delete here. Uh, I'm going to cover dealing with the extra fields and also a maximum number of fields that you can have. So let's cover the delete case first. So delete here is just a checkbox. So if I were to check one, the C++ there, hit save, you see that C++ disappears. So I just deleted it. But perhaps you don't want your users to be able to delete something after they've added it in. So what you can do is you can add the can delete parameter and set it to false. So by default, it's true. But if you set it to false and then restart the app and run it again, you see that that delete checkbox is now gone and the user is no longer able to delete uh, any of the child objects uh, for your parent-child relationship that the inline form represents. So that's the first parameter. The next is the number of extra fields that you can have. So in this particular case, I have three extra fields. So one, two, three. If I wanted to have, say, one extra field, then I just simply change the parameter called extra. So if I do extra equals one and hit save and refresh, we'll see that now I only have one additional field. So if I put another language in here, let's say, uh, what's a good language? Um, ASP, hit save, ASP gets added, and then you see an extra field is added again once I reload the screen. So if I change extra to something much larger, like five, and refresh, we see that I have a total of nine fields, four have a value, and then I have five empty ones because those are the extras. So I'll change this back to let's say two for now. Okay, so I have a total of six. So the last one I wanna talk about, it's pretty simple, maximum. And this limits the maximum number of fields that you have. So in this particular case, I have six. So what happens if I limit my maximum to say five? So I have four fields that are filled in, and then I have two extra fields that I want for a total of six. But now I'm saying that the maximum number that is allowed is five. So if I refresh this, I only get five. So that max number takes precedence over the extra. If I reduce the max number to something lower than what I already have, to say three, because I have four fields filled in, and I just reduce the max num to three, if I refresh, it shows all four. So this takes precedence over the max number when you have more already in the database. So if I were to delete one of these, so can delete true. If I delete one, I still have three. So my max num is three, even though extra is two. But if I delete another one, now I have two that have values and I have one that shows. And if I delete a third one, I have two extra fields here with one filled in. So that's the way that the uh, order works. So the number that exists in the database takes precedence, followed by the max num, and then the extra. And then um, there's really nothing after that because let's say the max num is 10, you have four in the database and you allow for an extra two, then it's only going to show six. But it can lead you up to 10 in certain cases. So those were the three options that I wanted to cover. There are other options and perhaps I'll talk about them more if I do a general form set video, but they're a little more involved and they aren't as typical as these. So you probably would use these for something, but the other Op the other options that you could have for the inline form set, you may not use as much. So I'll put a link in the description below to the documentation for the inline form set factory so you can see the other options just in case you want to know what else you can do. But I just want to cover those three. So that 
that's it for this video. Uh, just a reminder, if you want to go to my website, you can check out the courses that I have. I have both free courses and premium courses. So you can at least sign up for a free course if you want to get uh, more structured videos uh, in a series instead of just watching one-off YouTube videos. So like always, if you have a question about anything, you can leave a comment in the comment section below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. So thank you for watching and I will talk to you next time.